what is going up guys i hope everybody's having a fantastic day so far all right so in this episode we are going to be talking about how to scan for stocks on the td ameritrade think or swim platform um this has been a common question that a lot of people have been asking me and so there i'm just going to be talking about the think or swim uh scanning software and then I will do another video on the trade idea scanning software. Um, all right, so as you guys see up here, we have this little um, kind of menu tabs, and this is where we have our charts, we have market watch, and we have our scanning. So this right here, we're going to click on scan right now. I am already on a preset uh, thing that the Thinkorswim TD Ameritrade scanning already has it's the gap ups um so all you gotta do is you gotta click these uh three lines down here these uh scan menu so you click on this you go load scan and this is where you save all your personal scans right here as you can see i have gap up market hours that's what i used to see what the hot gap ups are here i have a momentum scanner i have a pre-market one with um not a lot of volume, and then pre-market two, I have it set for stocks that already have a lot of volume. So the, and then it, once you hop down here, you'll have public and then percent gain, uh, losers, gap ups, excuse me, stuff like that. But one thing you guys have to understand is that these um, scanning, they do not work pre-market. I, I mean, they do, but not the your personal ones do, but not the uh, percent gain. It will just it won't it won't work. Um, so, you know, if you click gap down, all you do is click scan, and then you can either have it put down from the highest. So we're gonna want this right here. So M O M T here. Um, is down about 82% on the day. And so let's say you found a scanning software you like. Uh, we'll talk more about it. Actually, let's, let's take a step back. All right, so next we're going to show you guys how to create your own. Um, there's two ways. Uh, all you got to do is you got to, you can either load one in that you already want. You can edit one you already have. Or you can click this button right here that says create scan curie. So now this is a is like, is like the background of uh, Thinkorswim. It's this pretty much, but it just popped out a little more. So now, now, now you guys can add any uh, certain studies, filters, um, stuff like that, fundamental filters, anything, anything you want, you can add it to it. So let's say, example, I want a, um, let's see, percent change over, let's go, a minimum of four. Is that point four? Yeah. So we want a minimum of four um, all the way up to, um, you know, however much you guys want. You guys can't leave this blank, so what I would just put a, a lot and then volume I would want anywhere from a hundred um, hundred thousand uh, to that's about good uh, pers we already have our percent change so next we're gonna let's see if we can do a uh, price all you gotta do is just keep going up here I'm sure it's up here oh it's alphabetical so here we can have the open. Um, I don't see it here, so we're we're just gonna get rid of this here. And next we're gonna add. This is where you can add any anything really. So we're gonna add a uh, study filter. So now this is kind of um, more along the lines of technical trading. So let's say I only want a bearish uh, and bullish you know trading patterns so here's a lot of very important trading patterns here you know we have the doji we have the you know any all of these 
Um, so we're going to look for volume, and then we're just going to go to unusual volume. We're going to click that, um, and then it's at least, let's put, uh, let's put it over 15, not 150. Let's go, and then let's go over 90. Um, okay, let's add another uh, filter here. So I can't seem to find, oh, ask. Okay, so now we're, this is kind of the price range here. Let's go two, two, let's go 10 bucks. And honestly, this is a pretty decent um, so far. All right, so let's name it, let's name it. YouTube 101. Let's click save. So now all we're going to do is we're going to go to the three lines up here, load scan theory. We're going to go here, and then we're going to go to personal, and then we're going to pop down to YouTube 101. Now, here all we do is click scan, and now here's all the stocks that meet our scan criteria. Um, so next, let's say we found, you know, a pretty decent watch list or scanning. We want to have scanning going on when we're trading and when we're kind of working, you know. We don't want to keep having to hop back and forth between charts and scanning to look at stocks. So what you can do is you can either go to, uh, whoops. You can either detach it. This might take a minute. Now this is just going to pop it out. And you guys can put it on another screen. But if you don't want that, that's completely like understandable. I don't use that. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have this YouTube 101, the name, already saved. And then we're going to go back to charts. And then off in the left corner here, you're going to see this little arrow. It might be already pushed out for you guys. And so let's get rid of this. Delete. So you're going to see this little plus button down here. This is going to add a gadget. So now we're going to want to go to watch list. There's no scanning one. You're going to want to go to watch list. And then here is you're going to go down to personal and then YouTube 101. And then now all the stocks that were in this scanning here popped over to here. So now we're going to add, our, we're going to customize kind of what we want. That's add percent change. Let's get rid of the, no, let's keep all. That's actually, we can get rid of last. Um, that's fine. Okay, so now let's move it out so we can see it a little more. So now you guys can see I have a watch list off here to the uh, left. Now during market hours, this is going to work, but during pre-market, um, you know, it's not, it's not the best. You're going to have to, uh, have the pre-market set. I will show you how I do that in the, uh, pre-market ones I make. So not next you you can customize it however you'd like, you know, if you don't like that, that's completely fine. And how to add to link up both of these so I can click on OBLN and this, it'll pop up here. All you got to do is just make sure this is red here and then click on this, make this one red. And then now when you click on it, it pops up like this. You know, this is very cool. Uh, wow, this stock really moved today. I didn't trade today. I took today off. Um, I've been taking a lot of days off lately. I know I got to get back to the swing of things. I am holding a swing trade. Um, you know, I just did a day trade, I should say, today. I'm holding a swing trade. I'm already up about 4% here, uh, which is very nice. But, um... So, next, next, as you can, can see, you can add anything you want here. Um, wow, Nugs really moved today. I currently traded this, as you can see, because I have some presets of support and resistance lines already set up. But, okay, so next, you, you found a, you made a good software to trade during the day. Now you want to get those pre-market stocks uh, looking, you know. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is you want to go to back to your scan, and then you're going to want to either click uh, 
load scan and you're going to want to create one but I already have one so we're going to still load it but let's go pre-market one here so now this is kind of filter this is going to filter out um, all my criteria and it's going to work in the you know uh, pre-market hours which is nice so I can still use this it's not as good as trade ideas trade ideas it's obviously the best but now, all you this right here include ext is means um, you know after hours, and you're gonna want to either put this to 20 minute, or 30 minute. You know it doesn't work that well on one minute. Um, 20 is about the best. So now you're gonna want to do the same thing. You're gonna want to pull it up watch list. You're gonna want to go down to personal, and then pre market one. So now, as you guys can see, all of these are the same, which is fantastic. So that's pretty much how I find uh, active stocks on the TOS or the Thinkorswim trading platform. It's very easy. You're going to want to practice with this, with the paper trading. Actually, I don't know if it works on paper trading, but you, still, you're going to want to practice with this because during... Uh, real time, you know, trading with real money, it's going to be a little different. And you're going to want to still practice, find a scan criteria you like. And you're going to just want to get very comfortable with this. Uh, so that's it, though. That is how I find stocks to trade on the Thinkorswim trading platform using the, uh, you know, the scanning software. It's very good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video here. If you did, please sure to hit the subscribe button, add a comment, a like. Do whatever you like. Um, if you have any other questions about how I find stocks or how I you know, trade, you guys are more than welcome to ask me. Ask me any question. That's why I have a YouTube channel is to you know, share my knowledge that everything I know um, and I want to put it online so you guys can see it. So that's it though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, please sure to like, subscribe, do what you guys do. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace out. Remember to always stay happy and stay positive. That's it, though. Have a good day.